solve a simpler problem and look for a pattern. Well, sometimes uh, problems can seem pretty complex. And looking for a pattern or trying to solve a simpler version of the problem can actually make it a lot easier to figure out. But you really need to make sure to understand what the problem is asking to start with because that's key to understanding this whole process. So here, for example, if what is the pattern for the ones digit of any power of 8? So what is the pattern of ones digits so for any power of 8? So all we're going to do is we're going to try this out. Well, let's here. 8 times 8. Well, 8 to the first power is going to be 8. 8 to the second power is going to be 64. So the pattern so far is 8, 4. 8 to the third power is going to be 8 times, and what you don't need to, you don't need to multiply this whole thing out. You're just worried about that ones column. So let's see here, it's going to be 2, because it's 8 times 4. And 8 to the fourth power is going to be equal to something that's Six because eight times two is sixteen. And now eight to the fifth power is going to end up eight times six, which is going to be eight again. And eight to the sixth power, you can see the pattern here. Eight, four, two, six, and then this is going to be eight times another eight in the ones column. You're going to end up with a 4 again. I don't care what the rest of the number is. All I care about is the ones digit. That's key to understand. Don't overcomplicate problems. So the pattern is going to be 8, 4, 2, 6, and then that repeats the same thing over and over again. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and simplify, and when you simplify this, if you were to multiply 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times 8, times eight 35 times, that would be a real pain. Um, you can put it in your calculator, but you probably couldn't read the ones place because it's such a big problem. So if we wanted to do this, all we'd say is, well, there's a pattern of four different ones. So if we were to go ahead and say what it is for 8 to the 35th power, we just have to figure out how many sets of 4 go through. And, well, in 35, we end up with, there's 35 divided by 4 is going to be, well, it's uh, going to be actually 8. And we have 3 left over. So it doesn't matter how many times we go through because we're going to end up starting back again uh, there. So I just now need to say, okay, well, I go through 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 times. And then I end up with 1, 2, 3. That's going to be the digit in the ones column. And that's all you're being asked. Now this problem here, you can uh, try a simpler version. You have four pairs of pants and six shirts. How many different outfits can you make? Okay, well, if you didn't know uh, your counting principles, uh, because you haven't, we haven't addressed probability yet, then all you do is you say, okay, well, I have four pairs of pants, and how many outfits can I make if I have four pairs of pants and one shirt? Well, then I can make, what, four outfits, right? How about if I have four pairs of pants and two shirts? Well, then I can have... Uh, let's let's name this uh, one, two, three, four pairs of pants and two shirts. So shirt one, and then I would have shirt two, shirt one, shirt two, shirt one, shirt two, shirt one, and shirt two. So I'd be able to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
And so you start to see a pattern here because if I've got two, then I end up with, if I have one, one shirt, then I end up with four. If I have two, then I end up with eight. And so then you probably will be able to figure out it's four times six, which is going to be 24.